Guys, fun fact. Did you know that this Turo CEO, Andre Haddad, is also a Turo host? He actually rents cars to guests, just like every other Turo host on the Turo platform. Yes, I found this out during the 2024 Turo Power Host Summit. Did you know this? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm the solutionist, Chuchu Wosu. I have two channels, actually four channels in total. This is one of them. At the solutionist channel, we'll talk about nothing but money. How to make it, business moves, business summit conferences, get together, anything that pertains to men getting together, women included, not excluded, getting together to discuss things or ways to make money. If you've had the opportunity to scroll through my catalog of content, you will see that this channel is solely dedicated to that. And uh, Chuchu Wonsu channel is a men's channel. It's solely dedicated to the well-being and care of men in whatever capacity, as far as grooming, the clothes you put on your body, exercising, health, intersexual dynamics, even as far as where to go, outing, how you relate in your neighborhood, where you go in your city, suggestions of what kind of diversions are considered masculine diversion, where you should put your interest in. All these things are stuff that I discuss and go over in the channel called Chuchu Mosu. This channel is the boardroom. Over there is business class. So you have to go to class first to graduate into the boardroom. Or you could go ahead and tend to both simultaneously. But both channels, don't get it mixed up, are dedicated to the well-being of men. The way you look and put money in your pocket. What I really want to talk about today is the Turo Summit. The Turo 2024 Power Host Summit was held in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, and I was present. For you to be qualified as a Turo Power Host and come to the summit, you have you must have earned over $36,000 and also be in good standing as far as being a power host. Most of you know the metrics to be a power host. Um, you should have, I believe, about 10 plus rides completed, a certain number of five-star ratings. You should have your maintenance. I believe the new metrics is showing that you have to be over 80 or 85%. Your cleanliness rate all these are part of the new metrics. The old metrics show something different. But anyway, at the end of the day, you have to be someone that has very high metrics to be able to be qualified to be a power host. You first become an all-star host. And then after you meet the metrics for the money and other qualifications, you're going to become a power host. Okay? So, at the summit, there's a couple of things that went down. First of all, I want to shout out to everybody that was present. Um, I met so many people that I was very happy to meet. People that I've never uh, interacted with in my life. I only saw them on YouTube. And finally, I got to meet them. Um, shout out to Mel. Shout out to Yinka. Uh, shout out to Mumad and his son. Uh, shout out to Jeff, um, shout out to so many other people, West Coast Dave, uh, Tony, Luxury, Car Rentals, um, Aubrey Janik, I saw her over there, took pictures with her. Shout out to all these people and shout out to the CEO of Turo. Um, I took pictures with him as well and uh, he, was very, uh, he was very graceful. Uh, what a wonderful man. So at the end of the day, let's get to it. So the 2024 Tour Summit, what went down? A couple of things went down, right? 
first of all, if you were not present, you missed out. And um, it was just so powerful to see all these men that have very high standards for themselves, high achievers, go-getters, and to see all these young ladies and ladies themselves that have very high standards for themselves, high expectations, high achievers, all in one room. Um, it was a sight to be seen. Um, if you were there, there was definitely value in the room. Uh, and it was up to you to know how to extract that value. Well, um, so I'm going to go ahead and review what went, I'm going to review uh, what the whole summit uh, was about in kind of a summary. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the rental competition. So according to uh, the CEO, you know, um, Haddad, Mr. Haddad, he's uh, direction that Turo is trying to take the company is towards a direction where they are a strong competitor for a competitor against you know the conventional rental car companies such as you know I'm not gonna say no names but the usual rental companies that you know um, Turo is fighting for a spot a major stakeholder in the rental car business so that's the direction that is going he also talked about leasing how to roll with the new metrics and the new systems if you've seen the app the new changes that has been incorporated into the app some of the things that you uh, some of the changes that has been made is to put Turo in a position to win market share as far as uh, being a, uh, a significant rental car competitor okay so uh, he talked about that, that Turo is uh, seeking uh, a lion's share of uh, the market. And then he, we talked about, uh, he went over the new metrics, uh, uh, ratings metrics. So when it comes to the rating metrics, a lot of people complained about how um, a no rating affects the host. And um, that was discussed in ad nauseum. Uh, they also talked about how the new metrics... It's kind of uh, unpredictable so far. Most people are not f finding it very host friendly. That was the word that was used at the Tour Summit. That the new metrics was not host friendly and um, it would really uh, penalize a lot of hosts at the end of the day, regardless of uh, the actions of the guest. So these are some of the concerns that was brought up during the the summit. The CEO addressed this by saying that, uh, well, as we as we progress, I'm going to talk about you know what he said about the new rating metrics. But um, he let people know that this is something new that they're trying out. A lot of modifications are going to be made. There's going to be a lot of update. Simply put, there's going to be a lot of update to make the system more efficient. And better so basically it's a work in progress there's gonna be a lot of progress made to this metric and um, one of the things that a lot of people were concerned about was two of the metrics that actually affects a lot of people so if you did not come to the summit one of the things that you would really need to pay attention to is your maintenance and your cleanliness because I believe from here tour is not playing games anymore uh, the company is really trying to get rid of the bad apples and keep the people that take this business seriously. So if you're a guy with one or two or three or four cars, um, if you're a guy that's growing, if you're a guy that's not taking this seriously, um, I have news for you. This is the time to start taking the business seriously because um, at this point, uh, Tour is looking to get rid of people that don't take the business seriously because it's affecting their business, it's affecting... Um, the things going on in their uh, algorithm, things going on in their business. So they're basically trying to make sure that the presentation, the hosts that they have on the platform are very good representative of the Turo brand. So if you don't represent the Turo brand well, they have no problem getting rid of you from the platform. So the number one things that I... I took home 
from this whole uh, summit concerning the new rating metrics and uh, where Toro is trying to go is maintenance. So if you did not meet the criteria to show up to the Toro summit, I'm here to tell you this. Pay attention to your maintenance. Pay attention to your, the cleanliness of your vehicle because um, Toro will be watching. Take it that way. They're going to be watching and if you if they find out that you are not taking the business seriously based on your reviews and ratings from guests they're going to cut you loose so pay attention to your maintenance pay attention to the cleanliness of your vehicles because it affects your metrics and it, it possibly could affect your longevity on the platform okay and then when it comes to reviews um i'm going to simplify this one so when it comes to reviews, people complain about the fact that some guests don't review. And uh, they were talking about how um, to implement something where the guest has to review before the checkout. A lot of ideas were swung around. But at the end of the day, uh, they told um, the CEO to remove the no review that affects your metrics so that it doesn't. But he rejected that idea because... He gave a whole uh, presentation about how a no review is actually equal to a zero star or one star, basically. So if you have a no review, that means that the guest was significantly unsatisfied but just did not want to affect your matrix. So if you are somebody that uh, does not get a review, I think it's best you try to implement uh, things to result in a review from the guest if you can. Or... Message the guest, find ways to talk them into leaving a review. But according to what I garnered from the CEO, he wants that to be organic. And he believes that guests that have uh, good experiences tend to review without even being told. So, in other words, the no review that affects your metrics, that stays for now. So if someone uses your vehicle or, or you host a guest and they after use after renting your vehicle they return it and leave no review that counts as a zero or one star. So do whatever you can to please your guests. Be the best possible host that you can be because this is the time that it, it like it's never been more apparent than now because the CEO mentioned something, okay? Andre he mentioned that if the rental car business is thirty eight is a thirty eight billion dollar business, okay, and Turo is trying to get a lion's share of that. And then on the other hand, if you're paying attention to the app now, Turo is going after the leasing business, which he also mentioned is a two hundred billion dollar business. So they're trying to double in both. So if you put that together, both are a two hundred and thirty eight billion dollar business. So you cannot get to these goals. You cannot get to these heights. You cannot get to this. You cannot like uh, conquer these mountains with very unserious hosts. You need people that turn Turo to their means of livelihood. You know, you need to take it extremely serious. You need to show up for Turo. And Turo has promised and pledged to show up for you. So that's why they're making all these changes. Turo is listening to hosts. Maybe you're not a power host, maybe you're not an all-star host, but there are people right above you that have significantly invested into the business. Turo is taking these people very seriously. Turo is listening to them, and Turo is implementing changes that they recommend would actually favor the progress of hosts on the platform. So now let's move into a, a standard, standardized five-star experience. So during the summit, there was a breakout room where they talked about the app and ways to maneuver the new uh, uh, price adjustment system, the monthlies, the and and so on and so forth. And there was another breakout room that talked about uh, the five star experience. So they used like a hotel experience, Yelp, all this stuff. You know that if you went to a restaurant, you ate. You know if if you did not like the food, most people are tr you know are put are moved to leave a star based on how the based how based on how they received the service, right, based on how they felt about the service. So Tour is trying to make sure that you, the host, is making the guests feel so good that they believe 
or they did have a five star experience. So Turo is trying to get most hosts with their help to standardize the five star experience so that every guest that you host ends up with a five star experience. So if you cannot make that happen in the future, in the coming future, this platform might not be for you because you need to make significant effort to um, help Turo rack up these five star experiences because the more five star experience people have on the platform it, it converts financially on the other side on for Turo and for you yourself as a host so it's paramount that you make sure that the experiences that your guests are having is a five star experience okay so like i said the hotel service restaurant uh enterprise reviews was used as examples so just letting you know what Turo is going for, they let us know what Turo is going for. Turo is going for uh, those uh, competitors trying to get the guests to have a similar experience like they would have in a hotel, like they would have at a restaurant, like they would have with Enterprise or any other car company. So in this scenario here, your car just can't be uh, up to par. It has to be above average. It has to supersede the standard. That's what Turo is trying to look for. Turo is trying to get repeat guests. That was the word that was used. Turo is looking to get repeat guests. As much as they can, they want to convert every guest to a repeat guest. And based on their research, guests that have a one-star experience or a no-star experience tend not to repeat. So the lower the stars, the higher the li uh, likelihood that the guests will not be using Turo again. And Turo is trying to uh, do whatever they can within their power to hinder this problem okay to make sure that this problem is abated and doesn't repeat and whatever avenue is causing uh these uh low uh standards to occur on the platform is going to be eliminated okay so like i said earlier the ceo andre haddad he mentioned that uh no rating uh, uh, uh no rating is a rating which i stated earlier so if a guest returns your car, a guest that you hosted, and they did not leave a star, in most cases, it means that they had a horrible experience. So just know that. So if you try to communicate with your guest and at the end of the day, they do not respond or you're not able to get them to review, that just means they had a horrible experience. I'll give you, I, I give you an example. Even after I came back from the, from the summit, I had a guest rent my car, right? Um, after he returned the car, he did not rate, he did not rate the vehicle. He didn't. Hold on, he did not have any bad experience, like as as far as I know, mechanically and cleanliness. The car was clean. Uh, he had, but for some reason, you know, he had a less than five star experience. He left a five star rating, but how did I know he had a less than five star experience? Because my uh, metrics were showing that my cleanliness and my um, maintenance was at eighty percent plus. But after he rated me, it fell under eighty percent. So. Um, I drove the car. I couldn't see what, uh, I didn't notice whatever it is that he had a problem with. I asked him, what was the issue? He said there was nothing wrong with the car. So, um, it's just one of those, uh, situations where this was very tricky. Like the CEO, Andre promised, they're going to keep modifying this stuff till they find the, they fine tune it and find the right balance, right? It's not something that is going to be done overnight. It's going to take time to fix this. Okay, so that's the com that's the conversation that was had. So know that a no rating is a bad rating. Th those are th those are not my words. Those are the words of the CEO of uh, Turo. Uh, so um, we engaged in a bunch of conversations. I met a lot of people. We had conversations about this. Um, the conversation that is had in this uh, at this summit are of very. Uh, very high um how do you, what's the word i'm looking for very high frequency conversations you see where the kind of the caliber of people you meet there are high achievers so the conversations are the kind of conversations that puts you in a very positive place and um, lights a fire in your heart so that you could achieve more right so they talked about monthly calendars tips and tricks on how to get through the monthly calendars so um, for the one I remember right off the back is uh, when you want to basically, let's say you want to stabilize your prices uh, from, for say, November 1st 
2004 to November 1st, 2005. So all you have to do is click on November 1st, 2004, right? And then click on the month tab, go down to November 2025, right? And then click on the last date that you want. It's going to pop back on the screen with the last date highlight, like the, hi the last date highlighted on the screen. And then all you have to do is click the last date that you want, like say you want 31st or you want the first or second, and then swipe to the left. And it's just going to automatically um, sync all those dates in between. So from November 1st, 2024, all the way from November 1st, 2025, all those dates are going to be checked by for whatever price you're trying to uh, set them at. So if you're trying to regulate price and put, say, $50 all through for a car, from November 1st, 2024 to November 1st, 2025. So by this uh, action, you actually select everything without going date by date by date by date and uh, doing such tedious work to change those prices. So those were some of the tips and tricks that was, uh, uh, that was discussed during the summit. Uh, play around with the app. Eventually, you will get it. So um, I talked about growth, how Tour is trying to grow. Um, the car rental business is a $38 billion business. Um, the leasing business is a $200 billion business. These were the words of the CEO, uh, Andre Haddad. He mentioned this. And um, if you know anything about money, those are big numbers. So True has very big aspirations, and uh, they, they're not playing around. You cannot get to these kind of numbers with people that don't take the business seriously. So that's why I tell you, if you did not make it to the Powerhouse Summit, work harder. Put in more time, take this business seriously. I met millionaires, I met future millionaires. I had I met people that were looking a million dollars in the eye. I met people that have exceeded a million dollars twenty five times. I met all kinds of people. I met people that have exceeded hundred thousand dollars. I mean, people that were making hundred thousand dollars on tour was just it was almost everybody else except the top guys. You know what I mean? So this is a very serious business. Take it seriously. Cleanliness and maintenance. Prioritize those. And in no time, you exceed six figures and be heading to headed uh, towards six, uh, seven figures. Okay, so um, if you take the business seriously, success is inevitable. You're gonna succeed in this business. It's very easy. Keep the cars clean and keep them well maintained. You know what I mean? And grow slowly so that you can manage what you you know what you have going on. Um, you talked about learning the app. So I believe in the case of learning the app, it just takes time. The more you use the app, the more you learn the app. So give yourself some time, keep playing with it, and eventually with all these new changes that are available right now, eventually you're gonna figure it out. So just keep playing with the app and everything is gonna be okay. And also, um, the new app is basically designed to be efficient. So that's why all these changes are happening because Turo wants it that way. They wanna make it very host friendly and also guest friendly so that at the end of the day, if the guest is having a good time and the host is having a good time, it makes for success. And that's how they can get to that $238 billion that they're sought and seeking after, okay? So, um, so everything that they're doing with the app right now, according to Andre, uh, is designed to work profitability. So Tour is trying to work the profitability of the market. So when you look at car rental and you look at uh, car leasing, I, was, um, I saw this ad, you know, sidebar. I saw this ad by BMW where they were advertising the BMW X7 and they said list this car right now 0% APR with good credit for $999. So basically under $1,000, just somewhere around there. So these are the kind of people that Turo has as competition. And Turo is taking this very seriously. These people are serious competitions with Turo and Turo wants to beat some of these guys or if not all in the market and take the market share. And based on the conversation that has been had, I believe they're going to be able to do it with your help. So the only way Turo can achieve this goal, Turo is dedicated to you. Just take yourself seriously. The only way they can achieve this goal is having committed hosts such as yourself. If you take the business seriously and do your part, the world is yours. Okay? So those are some of the things that we talked about. Then we went into uh, vendors and partners. So they had the GPS guys, they had Tint for off-trip insurance, they had um, 
um, the AFCU, the financiers, the banks that are trying to give you money. So all these guys were there and uh, they were basically um, at the disposal of hosts that were looking to grow. Okay, so these are some of the things that uh, that Turo um, presented and uh, they talked about it. They called it uh, host services, I believe, you know, the Turo host services. So Turo needed uh, uh, to make that available so that hosts such as yourself could grow fast. Not just grow, but grow fast. Uh, these are the tools that you're encouraged to have access to. So the faster you grow, uh, the quicker you get into the all-star host, power host arena, you could play with these resources, okay? So all these guys were there, the people with the tracking, the people with the, uh, with the various um, things that they sell, the kill switch, all this stuff was available over there. So you just went into their booth and you had conversations with them and um, and it was just a good time because instead of you going out and seeking all these companies on your own, they brought the most reputable guys so that they could be available to guys that made it to the Turo host, uh, Power Host Summit. Okay, and then if you're Power Host, these uh, tools are available to you. And then you, as an all star host, or even someone that uh, is not an all star, as you come up through the ranks in the Turo profile, you will have access to this. And as a matter of fact, you could even have, that, have access to this before you become a Power Host. Okay, so if you're someone that has multiple cars, you can actually have access to this if you have your documentation, paperwork, banking, and tax returns organized. If you have everything, your paperwork organized, you have your docs in a row, you could actually take advantage of uh, these uh, host services. Uh, this brings me to the next point where I want to talk about how Uber and Turo has partnered. So the partnership between Uber and Turo is one that... Um, I guess you should have seen it coming because people rent cars like I would try to explain it like how the CEO explained it Andre people rent cars and they use it for a few days but with Turo merging with Uber Uber drivers are now pouring into the platform they showed us a chat where one over 1 million people searched cars for long-term rentals which is why Uber is trying to go Uber and Turo teamed up to go after long-term rental so that's why they're encouraging people to work with the dynamic pricing to be able to make cars available to uber drivers and and so on and so forth because uh i remember math was done they gave us an example right where someone rented the car multiple days throughout the month and they ended up with say about a thousand dollars and then they showed someone else a different tour account same car but they leased the car to somebody and the monthly payment was 690 the relationship the, the relationship they were trying to bridge they were trying to show was that the person with the 690 income basically does less work while the person with the thousand dollar nine uh, one thousand ninety dollar income had to wash the car multiple times had to cater pe to people multiple times uh, and in most cases the car is used more and not only that you risk having uh being reviewed by multiple people and risk having a low score so these were some of the points that they brought up so at the end of the day they were trying to be convincing that that margin right see between 690 and 1050 or 1090 is very insignificant when you consider the work that you have to do over multiple times within a month to make the 1050 versus giving uh, leasing the car to one person getting recurring payment every month as a result of leasing so they were trying to show you that leasing was something very positive that you should have a very positive attitude towards leasing and think about it in multiplicity so if you have 10 cars where you're getting 690 per car that's uh 6900 so that's how they want you to look at it right and remember with that 6900 according to the uh, the presenter the tour presenter this person worked for tour um you do less work to pick up the same amount of money, not if, if not more. So now they're trying to make Turo even as passive as possible as Uber comes into the picture.
Then the next thing I want to talk about is that with all these things that I've talked, I've, I've tried to highlight, Truro is getting stricter. They're going to be strict, and uh, they're looking at the host that is not giving optimum or an ex a five star experience to the guests. They want the guests to have the optimum experience. And they want the brand name to shine whenever it comes to the mind of the, the guest. So they want the experience that you offer to the tour guest to be so powerful that whenever tour is mentioned, it's affiliated or associated with something positive. They don't want the inadequacy of certain hosts to affect the tour brand. So because of this, they're going to be very strict. And if you don't want to be axed out of Turo, it's time you start to perform. Be on your A game. Make sure your cars are well maintained. Check your cars after every, every trip. Ask questions. Go drive them yourself. Clean your cars well. And uh, you should have no problem. Okay? So they're going for a desired outcome. Okay? So the, I, I, like I explained, the outcome that they're trying to go for is to have that rental car image, but just better. Okay, so I remember uh, the CEO, Andre Haddad, he gave an example how he went to Germany. And when he got to Germany, he was visiting Germany. He rented an Audi RS6, which is a car which is like a, it's a wagon. It's basically a family wagon with a Lamborghini engine. So it's a fast car. So he rented the car upon arriving at the airport and to the rental car company. They were offering him a car that wasn't the Audi RS, uh, RS6. So it wasn't the car that he rented that he ended up being offered. So these are some of the changes and these are some of the reasons that he believes that Turo will break into the market and eventually become a household name. And it's up to you and myself to, op to basically uh, optim optimize the experience of the guests so that they become a repeat client of Turo. Okay? So with this said, Turo is really trying to get you to act in a desired manner. And that desired manner is for you to become a Turo ally, a representative of Turo. So when you're out there moving and shaking, handling your business, have this in the back of the mind that you represent Turo and do not take that for granted because Turo is not taking that for granted and they will do anything within their power to remove anybody out of their way that is preventing them to get into that $238 billion market share. Okay, so with that said, they're actually uh, going for quality, right? They're going for quality. Tour is trying to improve quality. They are trying to get the guests to act in a desired manner. Like I said, they want a positive uh, 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 connotation associated with the Tour name whenever it's mentioned, okay? So eventually, I believe they're going to go public or whatever uh, that situation is. But the car rental business that is... Uh, uh, in combination with the leasing business that is worth $208 billion, Turo has their eyes and targets set on that money. And they want it with everything that a company, every weapon that a company has, they are channeling it towards that market share. So don't get in their way. You've been warned. What should you do with this information, right? I believe with this information, you should position yourself to win. Winners win. That's all they do. At this powerful summit, I saw what winners look like. It was just a bunch of men and women in an atmosphere where performance was optimum. These people in this room were not losers. These were not just average people in society. These were people that want more for themselves. These were people that go farther. They go the extra mile. So... With this information, if you want to stay on the platform and remain on the platform, you need to go the extra mile. That's the only way Turo will let you on this platform. Like I said, Turo is getting stricter. And if you want to go the extra mile with them, you have to show them through the way you attend to the guest. And the best way to show them is to make sure that every guest has a five-star experience. That's the best way I could put it. So, uh, one of the things you could do is become a tour power host faster, okay? Become a tour power host faster. I believe after five cars, it gets easier. 
you need to exceed that thirty-six thousand dollar mark. So if you're making five thousand dollar a month, I believe one, two, three. After about five, after about um, six to eight months, you should make power host with ample work put in. So hurry up, become a tour power host so that you can come into this room, meet these people, the, which are like the high performers of society. Mingle with them, rub shoulders, have conversations, and I promise you there's so much value. You know, the thing about it is this, right? As much as I want to talk about, you know, you might want to, uh, some power hosts might want to brag about how they made it to the power host summit. I want to tell you something. The most valuable part of this power host summit was not coming to it just to listen to the CEO, the, the CEO or all the other two employees that were that had presentations i personally believe the most valuable part of the tour power summit was getting to rub elbows with other high performers in society this is like it's invaluable you cannot put a price tag on it these are things that happen once in a lifetime so this is what i want you to do with this information hurry up become a power host so that you can come in here and find your clan Find your group, find your people, okay, and grow with these people. Build relationship, build bridges, so that you can grow with the people that you connect with. I cannot stress enough how valuable it is to be in a room with these distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It's priceless. So take it very seriously, okay. I, I, I call it something, it's, it's basically like with the guys I talked to, it was like a brotherhood of success. It's people that wanted more out of their life and they actually have materialized whatever they ever dreamed about. And some of them are on their way to materializing everything they dreamed about. So I call it a brotherhood of success because everybody in there wants the same thing as you without any envy or jealousy. Everybody's looking to help each other because everybody is making money. Everybody is doing well. And if you are having difficulty, there's always somebody willing to help you. Wouldn't you want to be part of such a community? I think you do. So, like I said, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, Turo could lead you to riches, it could lead you to millions. It, I like you see, Andre Haddad said, the CEO, it could lead to billions. And Turo is going for the billions. So, instead of getting in their way, why don't you jump in a wagon with Turo? and crush the competition so that's it that was all that was discussed at the tour summit um we took pictures for some of you if you're looking at my thumbnail you will see that my thumbnail was at the uh last day the second day of the tour summit the mixer took pictures like this at the, at the photo booth i decided to use some of those pictures as my thumbnail for other uh content that i shot over there um it was amazing. I made very good friends. Um, I collected business cards, you know. I got uh, Tony. This is Tony. Tony Luxury Car Rentals. Uh, he gave me his business card. Great guy. Um, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Stair. He's out of uh, uh, Sarasota, Florida. He gave me his business card. Great guy. Ex-military, ex-Air Force. Great guy. Had a conversation with him. Actually had lunch with him. And uh, it was such a good time. Um, I also got this from uh, Yvonne Bingham, uh, business card. Um, I, I met Yinka. You know, Yinka was so gracious, amazing man. Um, has done gone so far in life using this business as a, as a vehicle to drive success in his family. Yinka has done so well. I'm proud of him, and I'm hoping that we could all work together. Um, also, Mel, shout out to Mel. Mel has also put in so much effort into Mel has invested, as he said, a million dollars into the business and he's pushing and he's looking for avenues and ways to make this business work for him. So those were uh, amazing things. And you still have guys like uh, Jeff. Uh, you know, Jeff is still growing in the business. Uh, he has come a long way. Obviously, he takes the business very seriously for him to be at the Power Host Summit. Anybody you see at the Power Host Summit is just not anybody. These are guys that have put in work these are guys that love success they look up to success they want success within arm's length so they can grab it and hold on to it so these are these might just sound like names but these are successful men in every 
measurement, however, every scale of measurement that you want to take, they have succeeded in their rights. So we had the sheet, uh, the exercise sheet, you know, where I asked you, uh, it was a bingo where you had, the, uh, you know, a bingo where you had to find a host in more than one city, someone that owns a wrap vehicle, runs a business with sibling, booked a trip as a guest, attended a previous power host summit, is a co-host, exclusively host EVs, helped a guest in a crisis, you know, they wanted you to share the story, request the reviews with scheduled messages, applied for financing or insurance through Turo Host Services, had a famous guest, I've had a famous guest um, out of California, has done a virtual vehicle safety inspection, free parking, someone that gets free parking referred, another host to Turo, runs business with their significant other, has hosted 5,000 5, plus trips, featured in Turo's blog or social media, owns a cyber truck, owns a specialty vehicle, luxury exotic classic, been on Turo since... Uh, Turo was relay rides, manages 100 plus vehicles, has kids who help with the business, owns an auto shop, uh, participates in the passive income hosting program, got a thank you note from a guest. So, so basically, so they're trying to get you to find people that meet these criteria and write their name in there. I think uh, there was a guy, I forgot what state he was out of, he won, and uh, 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 his consolation prize was a $250 uh, credit on Turo, you know, that he could use to rent any vehicle. You know, go figure. But, you know, I was happy for him. And then we got this here. This is, uh, this is something I picked up. It's a four-point vehicle inspection, a power hose summit inspection. So basically, it just lets you refer to this handy checklist to help protect yourself and protect your business on two running smoothly. So it says battery, tires, body. So make sure your car is eligible to list on Turo. Clean title, permission to list if you are not the owner, valid personal insurance, correct make, model, year, and trim level listed. Number two, make sure your car is eligible for the trip. All maintenance completed tires in good condition. Registration stickers are valid. No dash lights are on. The gas tank is full or the battery is charged. Then it says take care of pre-trip tasks and help your trip go smoothly. Take pre-trip photos, verify your guest ID, stay up to date on tourist terms of services, make sure your scheduled messages are relevant for all situations. Number four, take care of post-trip tasks, okay? Take post-trip photos, access any damage and decide how best to resolve it. Understand the deadlines for reporting damage, resolve directly with your guest or file a claim with Turo. So that's what this sheet here says. On my way back, I took Frontier, Airli uh, Frontier Airlines. They offered me this, the 50,000 mile stuff, you know. And, um, and then we took pictures. And then for the most of other things that happened uh, on the, on the, uh, at the Powerhouse Summit, um, you would see those at the, those are visible on my, uh, on my platform. So if you look through my YouTube uh, channel, you'll see videos. I, um, I was filming extensively. I uh, recorded conversations uh, and so many other things. I showed with a camera as much as I could the experience, what it felt like walking around um, the summit. You saw the different vendors. You saw the people I had conversation with. You saw some of. The, you saw the food. Um, obviously, there's only so much I could record, but uh, I tried my best to give you the feel like you were there in person. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I urge you to subscribe to this channel uh, because in this channel here, I promise you, if you don't have $100,000 in the bank, this channel here is designed to hold your hand, guide you to become a $100,000 man at least. That much I could do for you. Um, and from there, um, all you have to do is repeat it 10 times and you're a million dollar man. And then you repeat it 100 times, you're 10, uh, 10 million dollars. So just, and so on and so forth. Um, that's about it. And uh, with that said, that was all the summit was all about. Like I said, shout out to everybody. West Coast Dave, everybody I met over there. These guys were just amazing. Uh, like I said, the most invaluable thing about the Turo Powerful Summit was the people that you meet over there, the bonds that you build, the, com the, the, the camaraderie, 
the 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 people that you get to meet and forge new relationships with there was a 17 year old boy 17 year old young man at the powerful summit he had 58 cars almost 60 cars and his dad told me that they're planning to go to 100 cars 17 years old okay so that's the work of a good father so if you are here still having doubt if you should step your game up or even just get in the game stop wasting time let this video be the sign that you needed that it's time to get in the game i'll see you on the next one thank you guys ciao